Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome back. I've done a couple of streams since I've been back, but uh, no, this is my first full video. And you can see I'm it's different. I've never done anything. Well, I've done I've done something like this before. But I'm here, I'm on the floor, we're actually moving around the room. Uh, this is going to be a new series about video game collecting, which is something I would say that I'm passionate about. I don't know whether it's passion or an addiction. Um, it's Video games aren't the only thing I've collected in the past. Uh, I've collected many Blu-rays, I think I had up to 1,500 at one point. I've liquidated all of those, pretty much all of those. You can see behind me um, 4Ks, that's what I collect now, uh, and only films that I actually like uh, and care about, and are my favourite ones of all time. Um, all killer, no filler, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I was actually, we'll start off here. Um, this is going to be more of a casual series, uh, just somewhere where I can sort of talk to the camera in a room on my own, filled with video games and God, it's a lonely existence, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, because I did liquidate all of my collection. My PS3 and PS4 collection is what I was, was what I was collecting. Um, if I can find some old pictures, I'll put it up. I definitely know in the, on my older streams I had the collection behind me, and it was going. It was getting pretty decent, to be honest. But uh, if you were a collector uh, or are a collector yourself, you'll know that. Collections can feel like a sort of weight on you sometimes. And that's what that collection was starting to feel like. So what I ended up doing was selling them all, kind of, I don't know, pushed the panic button and got rid of everything, pretty much. What you can see here is what I had left. We've got some Dark Souls, some old Chinese, other Japanese games that I couldn't get rid of. Um, some that were sent to me, Hellblade and Far Cry. Uh, Rayman uh, is here as well, so thank you. That was Eric, Tommy, and Sam for sending those ages ago. Still got those. Um, yeah, and I'm starting all over again. I will just say that I've been watching, I've been watching, still am watching uh, another YouTuber called uh, Retro Ghetto. He's the one that sort of re sparked my love for, I guess, gaming as well. Because um, you'll know that if you follow my channel for a while that I've been on sort of a lull. Uh, I've been away and now I'm back. Um, and he, yeah, he's, he's, I don't think he lives far from me. I think he lives at the, at the bottom end of the county that I live in, um, which is really weird. You'd think we were quite close, but it's actually quite a long way because it's a really long county that I live in, uh, Derbyshire. And uh, yeah, watching his videos and his phenomenal game room um, has sort of got me back into it but cautiously. Uh, so I saw in one of his videos that he sent his subscribers to uh, another another guy who he was watching, thought was really good. <sighs> go and do the same for me, uh, for him. Uh, go to Retro Ghetto, um, subscribe, say hello, what have you. Uh, it's just a nice thing to do because he's got me back. He really has got me into that passion for playing and collecting games again, uh, which I, I've never spoken to him and I can't thank him enough for that. If you do end up watching this, thank you, man, honestly. Watching his videos, I have sort of, I remember that I used to do uh, a series called, I think it was called Pick Up Some Platinum. Yeah, that was it. Where I would go through what I picked up uh, that month and what I platinum that month. And um, yeah, I thought I'm, I'm gonna start doing that again, but more of a, a vloggy style, uh, more of this sort of thing. I'll sort of will move around the room. I'm planning on doing the whole room up, decorating it all nice, uh, video game stuff. Um, so I'm going to be sort of taking you along with, for the journey, I guess, uh, of starting again. Um, I might even take you out and about when I go go out shopping, trying to find new games. Who knows? Uh, so, what am I collecting now? Well, um, I have to start somewhere, I guess. <laughs> There's not much. Uh, so what he does, the Retro Ghetto again, uh, this was what he, I saw him uh, sort of collecting and it gave me that idea of yes, that is a focus. So I wanted to go back to PS3 and PS4, obviously. I still think the PS3 is the best console of all time. I don't know, the, the, gap, the library as well. Uh, console wise, it's obviously it has, yeah, the controllers weren't great and the backwards compatibility, it's kind of, it's kind of locked off in its own, sphere uh, the ps3 which is a bit of a strange one 
Yeah, but it's what when I got back into gaming, that's what I started on. Uh, the platinums, obviously, that's where they started, uh, and I have. I had the most fun doing the Platinums and playing the PS3 uh, and again onto the PS4 and it's kind of that's where it fell off with the PS5 and stuff so uh, I'm back and I've, I've started on the PS3 I've, I've hooked it back up again um, and I'm going to be playing it again I thought where can I start collecting those uh, the, the PS3 again because I was initially going for a full PS3 library when I used to collect that's why I have these sort of Chinese Japanese games up here um, that was never going to happen. <laughs> I don't know why I, I thought I was going to do that. I do like the idea of full collections. Um, I think the PS4 collection in the UK is about 3,000 something now. Um, it's obviously growing. <laughs> uh, like Unlike Blu-rays where the, there's no sort of end, there is an end to consoles. Uh, you can sort of cut them off. Obviously, Super Nintendo's done and, and things like that. Mega Drive, PS1. Uh, at some point, they might finish the PS4. <laughs> Who knows? It's still going. Um, but the PS3 and the PS4 have these collections. They are called the Essentials Collection on the PS3. I will show you some. I have started picking things up already. I'll go through that in a minute. So we've got the Essentials Collection. And what drew me to them initially is everything's nice and uniform and red. I think the PS3 is one of the uglier collections unfortunately but the essentials because it's all uniform um, and nice looking I thought that is where I should start and it has some of the best if not all of the best games uh, uh, within this collection with the essentials uh, collections the God of War uh, uh, 1 and 2 in here there's one of the early ones I managed to find they do have the regular manual but they have an essentials disc as well so finding them, you can find the cases, but sometimes the, uh, the disc kind of gets switched around. And the great thing is uh, people don't like the essentials usually. So finding them is, is not being too difficult, actually. Um, I'll go more in on the second video that I do in this series about where and how I collect. So um, where I, I might go and get them uh, and things like that. Uh, but we'll just go through for this first one. It's sort of an introduction is um, sort of what I'm planning on collecting. And on the PS4, there's not as many. Uh, on the PS3, the, the Essentials Collection, I haven't found a definitive list. I have found a list, um, I'll probably have it scrolling up here somewhere, of Essentials, I think it was on Wikipedia. Uh, I don't think it's definitive. Uh, there are some that aren't on it, but it's it's a couple of hundred at least, um, and that's it, so it's, it's manageable. Uh, and with the PS4, they do the hits, which is arguably even easier to find, but again, they do look as good. I think there's only sort of 50 or so of these. There's not many at all of the hits. Uh, unlike Essentials, though, the case is obviously different with a nice uniform red spine. But this one's not got a disc in it. Of course, I'd pick the one up without a disc because I can't be playing that. Um, the disc is actually the same. So I don't need to find special discs for these ones. Just the normal disc is fine. And you may see these games and think, why is he bought Bloodborne again and things like that. But I've had uh, a voucher for CEX, which is a shop over here, uh, for a while. I've had a couple hundred pounds because uh, I was trading all my Blu-rays and stuff like that. Or well, some of them, I sold most of them. If it looks like I'm sweating, I'm, I do apologise. It's ridiculously warm and I have to, there's construction work, uh, road work going on out there. And I have to shut the window. It's horrendously warm at the moment, which is weird and rare. Um, so I apologise for that. Yeah, I had a couple of hundred pounds, uh, so I went into CX's, CEX's, I still don't know how to say that shop name, CEX, Kex, Sex, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, and I thought, right, I'm going to pick up every essential and um, PlayStation hits that I could find. Uh, if I see one that I don't have, I'm going to pick it up. And as long as it's in good condition, I'll go into condition and things like that in the next video, so how I, how I uh, uh, collect. Yeah, and apparently these are, are pretty rare because there were lots on the shelves. I'll go through quickly. I guess we can go through quickly what I've got already. Uh, we've got Bloodborne on the PS4. Uh, yeah, and some of these, obviously, if you follow me for a while, you'll know I have the Platinum. I've finished with these games. But I have a new um, sort of love for playing games again. Uh, I'll probably do this in sort of another part, but I don't really collect 
trophies anymore. That's a weird thing to say, but I don't let that dictate whether I'm going to finish a game. Yeah, I used to play a game, and even if I wasn't particularly fond of the game, um, I would see it all the way through to get the platinum. I just don't bother with that anymore. There's too many great, great games that I've left behind. There's too many great series I've never played because they've got tough trophies. Uh, and I'm going to remedy that. So these games I will play again, like Bloodborne. I, I just stick it out, play it again, because I've got no obligation to try and get the trophies anymore. So it's going to be kind of liberating. I will be doing guides and things like that still, but only for very select games that I really do love. So we have Bloodborne, Rayman Legends, which I'm playing at the moment. I, I love the Rayman series. I really do. I should play the... Uh, where is it? It's this one, isn't it? I should play this version that Sam sent me. This is the Chinese version. I don't think that has online. Um, so that's probably going to be easier. But until dawn, I've done that. That's a classic. You've got to do that one. Ratchet and Clank. You've got to play that, of course. The Last of Us. These are, these, as you can see, obviously, these are all the heavy hitting games on the console. Doom. Finish that. Street Fighter V. Here's one of those series that I have never really played because of trophies and i really used to love playing the street fighter series i'm rubbish at fighting games but i, I want to play them again so i will <laughs> i can now i'm free <laughs> um horizon uh, the game of the year uh, the completed issue sorry i think the normal version is in hits as well uh, i don't know i might have to because it's going to say it differently on the spine i might have to go for that full one god of war Yes, there's no order to these at the moment. Uncharted 4, uh, Resident Evil 7. I will do the DLC at some point. Whether I do videos uh, for that, I, I don't know. Uncharted Lost Legacy. Uh, these are the ones, again, the next video will be how I collect. I will go into how, sort of how I clean. I have to clean my discs and, and cases when they come into the house because some of them are pretty, pretty grimy when they come in. And these ones haven't been cleaned. Uh, I, these are sort of fresh purchase or purchases. I've not spent anything on these games yet. Uh, we've got Hira uh, not Horizon Drive Club. This is, these are really cheap now. I think this was three or four pounds. I know the servers are down. And I, I did pretty much finish it. Uh, we've got the Nathan Drake Collection. Uh, what have we got next? We've got Little Big Planet 3. I did start this one. I might carry on. I know the servers are going or have gone down or something's happened on there. So we'll have to see. Gran Turismo Sport, another one. Um, I'm not sure if the servers are down yet, but I, I've, Gran Turismo, I love Gran Turismo. I love the first half of Gran Turismo. And then when you get to the second half, which gets really difficult, and uh, yeah, that's where I kind of lose interest. Because driving games, they ain't my thing either. I'm not quite sure what is. <laughs> another series, uh, Mortal Kombat, is another series um, that I haven't played, but I used to love playing because of trophies. Uh, Plants vs Zombies, Garden Warfare 2. I will, my son likes playing this game. He really loves this game. Um, I might try it, but I just can't get over what they did to the series. Uh, Plants vs Zombies, the tower defense game, the original. Phenomenal. Um, why they had to change it into that, I don't know. Maybe it's great. Uh, what have we got next? We've got Lego Batman 3. Love the Lego games. I, I think I did that on the Vita. I've not done that one yet. And another series, I think I've played one. Not the first one, I've played one of these. Uh, this is Dynasty Warriors 8 Complete Edition Extreme Legends. Or Extreme Legends Complete Edition, sorry. I played one, I think it was five or six on the PS3 a long time ago. So I wouldn't mind trying these again. And again, because I'm not really bothered about trophies, I can just play a game an hour or so. If I don't like it, I can turn it off. That's fine. It's great. I've done it with a few games already. I know I can do it. I know I can manage it. I've uh, I fixed myself. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, those, those are the PS4 ones I've got so far. Uh, PS3, this is one of the first ones I managed to find. It's pretty expensive, you've already seen it. It's God of War uh, collection, so there's God of War 1 and 2. There is a God of War collection part 2, which is the two uh, PSP games. I have done all of them already, but I think owning these is sort of a must in any way. This is one of the more expensive ones, and it was one of the first ones I found. I thought, oh god, this is going to get expensive. Expensive, sorry. But then you think you find games like Skate Three, uh, Drive, uh, Driver San Francisco, another game I've always wanted to play but never did because of trophies. Um, yeah, and the price comes down quite quickly after that. Infamous Two, another classic one. 
uh, Sonic Generation Generations. Another series I used to love was Sonic. Never really played it because of trophies, the 3D Sonics, that is. Uh, another rare one that I managed to find, I think this might have been with, uh, I think it was with God of War Collection, is the Ultimate Sith Edition of uh, Force Unleashed. Phenomenal game. Um, I did the DLC for this relatively, yeah, so, uh, recently, sort of, I say relatively because it was about two years ago. Um, and relative to when I actually played that game, that is quite recent. Uh, you got the Star Wars saga again. I've never played this because it doesn't have trophies, so it would be nice to actually try that complete uh, complete saga. Sorry, Rayman Origins. I've done this Rayman already. I love Rayman. Um, they're just so easy and fun to play. Um, Sonic Unleashed. Again, 3D Sonic. Never played this one. I uh, don't know much about this. It looks like it's a werewolf. What's going on there? It's been a long time since. I think Sonic 3, maybe 4. No, Sonic 4. I did Sonic 4 episodes 1. I don't think I did episode 2. I've done that. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a, a proper Sonic game. Uh, Marvel Super Heroes, uh, uh, Lego again. I think I've done that one, but again, I go back to these. I'm free to go back to them. And I do want to go for this full collection because it's going to look really good on the shelf. Um, and then Most Wanted, Need for Speed. Um, it's a Need for Speed game. <laughs> it's actually one I've, I've done as well um, because Need for Speed games apparently I find quite difficult. Or I did. And they start getting a bit cheesy and corny. Um, so I haven't done one for a while. Some more I haven't cleaned up and added yet. These are all clean, the ones you've seen. These are all ready to go straight on the shelves when I, I actually eventually get them ready. You can see there's lots of space. Oh, so much nice space. It's just all really nice and filled with red spines. Uh, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix, Skyrim, the full collection, the Legendary Editions, which DLC is on there as well. Uh, God of War 3, you've got to have that. One of the best games on the uh, on the PS3. Mega Drive Collection, speaking of Sonic, 1, 2, 3, Streets of Rage, 1, 2, 3, Echo the Dolphin, 1 and 2, yeah. This is all you need. This, you, who was it who said you don't need uh, to get a Mega Drive in all the games? All the best ones are pretty much on here, aren't they? Alter Beast, Columns. The only thing that's missing really is Michael Jackson. <laughs> um, and then Lego Star Wars 3, Clone Wars. I have a bit of history with this game. I never, I've never, still never seen the prequels, Star Wars. I um, started playing this game and found it very, very dull. And that's when I was trying to force myself to do Platinum still. And I, I just, again, I think that was kind of where I got the burnout, was forcing myself to do games that I just didn't want to do. Um, and that was one of them for sure. Right, I'm gonna do a quick transition and you're going to see a change. Damn it. Okay, that didn't go quite according to plan, but uh, you can see even together, the PS4 and the PS3 game, I'm not gonna be keeping them like this together, but even together, it's all uniform and beautiful looking. <laughs> so that, is, uh, is the, the main thing I'm going to be collecting is the essentials and the hits. Uh, I will obviously be picking other titles up. I do have some others knocking about which I picked up recently and will quickly show you. Um, another collection I will be doing as well is just as kind of a subset for the PS4 is games that have a free update. So let me see if I can find one. Here's one. Uh, so we've got Watch Dogs Legion, which has the PS5 upgrade. So that's both games. Obviously, you have to download the PS5 version, but essentially, you are buying two games for the price of one. I think this was three pounds. So, yeah, um, not bad at all. Uh, and I'll obviously put all the PS5s onto my account, so I'll be ready to download them if I ever want to play them. Uh, but yeah, that's another subset I'm, I'm thinking of doing is uh, the PS4 games with a free PS5 upgrade. I don't really be paying any. For any of them. I think Gran Turismo was paid, wasn't it? Gran Turismo 7. So yeah, going through some of the old, the other PS4 stuff I've got at the moment. Uh, back to Mega Drive and Super Nintendo, I guess. We've got uh, Jungle Book, Alad Aladdin, and um, Lion King. Yeah, Aladdin and Lion King, I remember playing a lot. Very difficult. I don't think I ever played Jungle Book, so uh, and yeah, I can't wait to play that one. Another sort of type of game I'll, I'll pick up is one I don't know anything about. And this was only four pounds for two games, which is Gallic Z and Schools of the Shogun. Um, no idea really what they are. 
Again, it was cheap. There's two games on here. I like having games that aren't really like everyone's got, let's say, I don't know, we've got Immortal Speech Rising, let's say. That's here. Grand Theft Auto trilogy. Uh, obviously, great, but you know, everyone's got them. You want interest in your collection. And I think something like that that nobody's ever, probably ever seen before is interest, as is Galaxy of Pen and Paper. Again, never heard of it, so I thought. I'm going to get that one. I'm not paying for these at this point because I'm still on vouchers. So, uh, yeah, why not? So those are the ones that were, they still need cleaning. That they picked up recently. Uh, I did get a couple of PS3 as well. Uh, these are two PS3 games I used to have. Uh, quite expensive, not expensive, but on the pricier side now, which is the two Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Lords of Shadow, yeah, there's no the. Um, really wanted to try both of these. It's been a long time. Again, trophies have stopped me from doing it because they're not the easiest. Um, so I just never did them and I will be doing them soon. The fact that you can plug the PS5 controller into the PS3, also game changer. Not even plug it in, but just play with it uh, as a Bluetooth connection, game changer. Uh, next after that, we have, of course, uh, Dark Souls 1 and 2. I had to get both of these pretty quickly. I do believe that this is in the Essentials collection, uh, Dark Souls 1. So I will swap this out, but I wanted to play them pretty soon. So I've got this one already. Um, so that's PS3 done for now. Um, and then some extra other PS4 ones. Shmups is a, another series I've never done because they're always notoriously difficult on the Platinums. Love them. Uh, so this looked like an interesting one. Aces of the Luftwaffe. Um, there was only one on CEX, so it looked pretty rare. So I thought, I'm, I've got to grab that. I did. <sighs> Annoyingly, the, the cover's all ripped up at the bottom. That does annoy me slightly, but it is the only one I could find. So it'll have to do for now. And I actually tried it, and it's pretty good. Uh, again, I'll go through this on the next video, but I've got some sealed ones here. There's a certain website I love to use, the Game Collection. Um, and they were doing three for £10. So I just picked up three that looked interesting and... Uh, yeah, this is from my wife, Kataria, Kataria Fables. She loves farming games, so that's that sort of thing. Uh, Darksiders 3, I never played. Um, I think we got it on PS Plus, but physical collecting, right? And The Escapist, I tried this once. I've I, I streamed it, if I remember rightly. And I didn't get on with it, but I, I want to try it again because it is a puzzle game and I do like puzzle games, so I'm going to try that again. Uh, and this was the reason I put, so I do have another, what do we have here? So again, I'll go into this next video about how I sort of uh, buy and things, but the Destroy All Humans was three for £10, that was included in that. CEX were doing a trading on just one copy of this, they would give you £6 credit. So I bought a few of these and traded them in. Um, again, I'll go through that, but Destroy All Humans, kept one for myself because I've never actually played it. Uh, these were a bit more expensive. These were two for 15. Again, Street Fighter, another series I can now try and return to. This is Street Fighter 1, 2, 2. Alpha, Super Street Fighter 2, Turbo, Alpha 3, sorry, uh, Street Fighter 3, New Generation. There's so many different ones. And most of them I don't actually know. So it'd be great to go back to the old 2D Street Fighters and try those on my son. So that's going to be good. And another one, Lego Brawls. Two reasons. It looked like something my wife could play with us. Um, and also free PS5 upgrade, so that was uh, what I had to do as well. Um, just a few more. So PS5 upgrade, speaking of, we've got Vertigo. I don't know about this one. Um, I needed something to fill my order to get the, the microphone for the phone or the stand, one of the two. Um, I am recording on this on my phone, so hopefully it, is, it looks okay. Yeah, Ed Miller survives a car accident where he believes his wife and their daughter died. However, no one was found inside the car wreckage. Doesn't really scream vertigo to me, as in Alfred Hitchcock's vertigo, but we'll have to see. This is, uh, what is this, a limited edition, sealed with an art book and some extra stuff in here. Digital soundtracks, so hopefully the soundtracks are actually good. But it, I think it was like £12, um, so yeah, I did that to fill up an order. Panic buy, I guess. Um, one, another thing I might I look out for uh, now and again, because CEX, again, going back to that store, as much as I hate them, I love them. <laughs> uh, they don't really 
change their prices when it comes to steel books sometimes uh sometimes you just find steel books on the shelf uh one of those was like a dragon another series i can now try because i don't need to worry about trophies i did find it interesting when i did kwame i think i tried uh but never went back to it so really nice looking steel books in pretty much mint condition as well uh so yeah pick that up again Still on vouchers at this point. The only one I've paid for so far are the, the three for tens and the uh, Vertigo. And then finally, PS5 upgrade, uh, Mirage. I've, I used to love the Assassin's Creed series. One through one, what was it? One, let's say through three, you know, all the Ezio's. Uh, four, obviously. Um, and then from there, it kind of went downhill a little bit, kind of. I didn't really do them. And then it went back up again with Origins. Uh, Odyssey and what have you, maybe not so much Valhalla, but this is a shorter one um, and I've not played it yet, so I, I, I've got to try it, I've got to try it. Apparently I've been playing Ubisoft a lot recently because Rayman's that as well and I'm the next one. Uh, PS5 I'm not collecting for, not actively going to collect the PS5 at this point. I don't think there's much point because I'm doing the free upgrade things, so I'm just going to collect the PS4 versions. Having said that, they only had the PS5 version, and I really wanted to play this, uh, was Prince of Persia, again, Ubisoft. Uh, this is, i finished this now, I'm not getting the Platinum, it, I could probably do it, but I just want to move on. Um, I guess when the fun stops, stop, I'll just stop, I'll just uh, move on, and that's kind of what I did, I did the story. I think at this point, I'm going to go back to how we used to play games, is just sort of do the story, if I want to do some side stuff sure uh, if i can't be bothered going back through the whole game again looking for some pots i'm not going to do that either um but yeah this was really really good corny as hell in the writing and the uh, the voice acting it was kind of terrible but um yeah this this was a damn fine go gameplay wise really good really really good and i think this yeah this was in the three for ten as well um this is a day one edition with an art book of something called Mato Anomalies. I was going to trade this in as well because this trades in for quite a lot more than um, than the three pounds that I paid for it. Or yeah, three. For, I say three. So the reason I'm saying three for ten and then saying three pounds is because I got ten percent off as well. There's currently a code you can use on the website, so I actually only paid nine pounds. But it looks like a graphic novel and turn-based. It's something I wouldn't usually pay play again, maybe because of trophies. So I'm going to try broadening my horizons as it were and that is it so one other thing i'm going to do in these videos i don't know where i'm going to you have to let me how you how you sort of feel about these videos if you like them you want more of them just not the camera great i have to get used to doing that um is yeah let me know if, if you want to see more of these we'll kind of go out on adventures trying to find games i don't know um you know just go through a different thing every couple of weeks, month, I might put a video out. There's no sort of set thing at the moment, but I reckon monthly is, is definitely doable. Uh, so what I'll do is I need to hide my address, but I'll sa save any games that I buy um, online and um, yeah, open them here on, on the camera because it just adds a little bit of something, doesn't it? Uh, so yeah, I'll uh, sort of have a mail time, I guess. Um, obviously, the stuff I buy out and about, I'll have to show you separately like i just did but that is how i'm going to collect i'm going to get the the ps4 stuff what the hell is an iphone noise in here did you hear that <laughs> i have an iphone anyway <laughs> uh ps4 stuff is going to be hits plus you know now and again um stuff that i want to try uh ps5 upgrades uh so that's going to be that that sort of side of it ps3 is going to be games i want to play so castlevania things like that or just must-haves uh, I can't think of any top of the head that aren't in the Essentials collection. Uh, that's kind of where I'm going to limit it. Yes, I'd love to do a full set, but that's when it starts weighing on you a bit, is when you start buying games that you don't really care about. And you, you know, honestly, that you will never play. Um, yeah, at that point, yeah, I think it's time to sort of dial it back. I want collecting to be fun again, not... Uh, an addiction again that could be another video is a uh, sort of why do people why do we collect i don't know because it's collecting is not the same as playing video games i would say that they're completely independent of one another 
Somebody can collect video games and hardly ever play them and vice versa, play them a lot and never collect them. Um, it's a strange one, but yeah, you either are a collector or you aren't. I'm guessing if you aren't, then you're not watching this, but yeah, you know. Um, yeah, so what I'll do is open this. This is uh, another Amazon one. This was another... Shoot. Hang on, where's the mic? That doesn't sound good, does it? <laughs> this is brand new. Um, yeah, I think this I needed to fill an order. Oh, no. Uh, yes, no, this was one I saw on again. Go and check him out. Go and check uh, Retro Ghetto out. Um, yeah, and just show him some love because he did that for another guy. And yeah, it's definitely something we should all do uh, as YouTube people. Um, yeah, he recommended he's because I was watching him uh, hit one of his videos and he was talking about schmucks again, shoot schmucks, and it's a series I used to love again. Uh, but never went back to because of trophies. And this, he said, was a really good entry point. This case is smashed. There's definitely something rattling around in here. And it's called Androdunos 2, which looks like a really good old school shoot em up. Um, and I think he said the, uh, the music was extremely good as well. So that's, that's two for two gameplay. Uh, it's a schmuck, it's going to be good regardless. And then uh, music and graphically, um, it's it's a 2D one, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be uh, looking good, old school. Um, yeah. So this was a, I, th I did actually pay for this one, obviously it's from Amazon. This is a little bit more expensive than, uh, than the, uh, the cheaper ones I've been buying. But I'll take recommendations now and again. Um, yeah, one thing I'm also going to do is what I used to do as a collector was every single recommendation, every single somebody would say, get this, try this. I would run out and get it. Yes, I picked this up, but I wanted to get back into schmucks. And uh, this is probably a very good entry level one. Uh, yeah, I used to run out and get every recommendation um, and never play them. So I'm just dialing back. I've managed to get rid of FOMO. It's not something I kind of deal with anymore either. Fear of missing out. Uh, I don't collect limited run. I won't collect rim limited run anymore because they kind of prey on that whole FOMO. Although I've not looked into their business model for the last couple of years, so I don't know how they run it anymore. Uh, but yeah, I don't feel like I'm going to miss out, you know, anymore. And it's, again, it's kind of refreshing. It's just nice and liberating to not have to feel like that and enjoy collecting, enjoy playing games again. And it's, yeah, I, I'm really excited for it. Uh, it's, it's, I feel like a kid again. I know I've just turned 40 this year. And I feel like a kid again. It's great. Um, and yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. This we are going to go through a whole journey of me collecting again. Hopefully the camera has recorded. This. this is the first time I've actually recorded on my phone and the mic has picked up properly. Um, we will see. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, yeah. Let me know what you think of the videos. Go over to Retro Ghetto, show them some love and, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.